Have you ever seen people posting their photos in different styles, like as a Marvel superhero or an astronaut on the moon? Some even go further, changing their skin color, hairstyle, or adding features they don't actually have. Yet despite all these changes, we can still easily recognize the person in the photo. All of this has become possible thanks to modern AI image generators. Hi, I am Daniel, welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to train AI to create images with your face. First, we'll go through the process of training the tool, and then we'll use the resulting preset to create both realistic and fantastic photos. I'll also show you how to craft more accurate prompts using ChatGPT. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So, let's go straight to the point without further delay. How to train an image generator? Today we're going to explore the Cray AI service, and more specifically the Flux large language model, which can generate high-quality images. What's even more exciting is that we'll train Cray AI using our own photos to create personalized images. That's exactly where I'll start. I've prepared a small selection of my photos to train the model to recognize my face. These photos feature me with some unconventional facial expressions. I did this to ensure the model learns to depict my face in different ways and generate various emotions in the images. Now let's move on to the train section and create a new training session using the photos I've uploaded. First, we'll upload them to the Crea AI generator and wait for the process to finish. Then, let's take a look at the available settings. I uploaded 10 images which is a good amount for Crea AI. The average resolution of the photos is excellent. Here we can name the model. Now let's check the settings. We can increase the number of training steps, but the default is 250 which keeps resource consumption at a normal level. The learning rate is set to 0.004, which is more than enough. We'll keep the batch size at 1, since Crea AI's resource usage is at a normal level. Lastly, I'll use my name, Daniel, as a trigger word. Later, I can use Daniel instead of a man directly in prompts and Crea AI will understand that it should generate images featuring me. Here you can choose between using the default model or focusing on the character, object, or style of the photos you upload. We'll stick with the default model, which balances all three elements – character, object, and style. This way, the model will place more emphasis on the face. If we select character, the AI will focus solely on the face and ignore other details, such as jewelry or necklaces, if they were in my photos. Similarly, choosing object or style will train the generator to focus on those aspects. Now, let's move on to the training itself. Here, we see some warnings about the potential risks. But let's quickly hit Train AI and wait for the process to complete. The training usually takes at least 5 minutes and can go up to 7 minutes, depending on the number of photos you upload and the settings you choose. Let's wait for the training to finish. The process has started. And as you can see, the progress is displayed in real time. In this case, the training is moving along pretty quickly. We just need to wait 75% more until completion. Well, guys, the entire process took less than 3 minutes. Just recently, I ran another training session that took about 7 minutes, but that was with 18 photos. 
this time with just 10 photos, it was much faster. Now that the training is complete, we can use these styles in the Styles section when generating our images. To generate photos featuring our face, we'll switch to the Flux image generator. We'll use the Flux model because it's the only one capable of working directly with trained face models, allowing us to create personalized images. There are also other available models, but unfortunately they don't support trained models. So we'll stick with Flux and click the Add Style button. This takes us to the page with the My Styles category. The style preset might take a moment to fully load, but once it's ready, we can apply it. Now we see a slider that lets us adjust how much this style influences the image. Lowering the slider reduces the resemblance of the generated images to my face, while increasing it makes the face more recognizable. This slider controls how much the style affects the final outcome. Let's try generating a man's portrait. As you can see, the platform uses my face and applies my style. However, I am working with a fairly simple prompt that lacks detailed descriptions or additional attributes for the photo. That's why I suggest using another AI tool, like ChatGPT, to help us create more detailed prompts, specifically for the Flux image generator. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Now, let's get back to work and open the Explore GPTS page. I'll type Prompt to see the available options. I like the Flux Prompt Pro option, but you can choose any other custom GPT that can create prompts based on a simple description. Let's try generating prompts with this module. Unfortunately, it's currently unavailable. I'll select another one and ask ChatGPT to create a prompt for the Flux image generator featuring a man in five different business looks. It may take a moment to process, but it will generate the right prompts. It even adds a copy code button for our convenience. Here we go, five prompts have been generated. Let's try them out with almost the maximum influence of our style. The resulting photos look pretty good, though some of them have low resemblance and a few flaws. Thankfully, we can adjust the settings next time. First, we can adjust the size of the images, and we can also apply settings from other style presets that the platform offers. Besides using our custom style, we can add random prompts or select images we like to create variations of them. For example, the very button generates variations of the photo I prefer. We can also like photos, and once we've built a collection of liked images, the Crea AI can use them as a basis for further training. Let's see what other prompts we've got. What business looks for men can we generate?
the results are quite impressive, with my face looking highly recognizable and very accurate. This means we can create as many custom photos as we want using prompts generated by ChatGPT. For example, let's ask it to create a photo of this same businessman, but on vacation. ChatGPT takes a moment to think, but it does its job just great. I'll quickly copy one of the first prompts it generates. And we can see some pretty cool, high-quality images of a person who looks very similar to me. But look, for instance, at the shadow. There is still a small issue with this picture. ChatGPT also came up with various topics for vacation photos. I'll ask it to create some more creative prompts, like one to generate an image of a person in the style of modern Hollywood film heroes. Let's pick one of them. And we see some pretty decent results. But wait, what's this? It's unclear. Of course, any image generator can make mistakes. There can be issues with fingers or strange objects in the hands. Here we can see that it generated two people, both of whom look like me. So, if we create a photo with multiple people, all of them will resemble the style or face we've applied. For example, if there are 10 people in the photo, all of them will look like me. That's how it works. Let's generate a few more photos in the style of, say, anime characters and see what we get this time. Well, this isn't exactly an anime photo. Let's reduce the influence and see how the images change. This happened because I reduced the influence of the style by almost half. I'll increase it a bit more, and we can see that the photo now blends anime style with the recognizability of my face. The Fantasy Fighter style is also nice. These characters look pretty good. Let's try generating a character from a video game. We'll use the prompt with the cyberpunk hacker and adjust the influence. The result is pretty interesting. But once again, fingers are an issue. So, there are still flaws in the generated images. These flaws will likely persist for a while, but hopefully they will improve over time.
Now let's test the editor tool to tweak the photo that Flux generated. For example, I'll type in that this should be the shadow of one man and see how it handles that. We can also apply a style and check the result. And there we go. It handled the edit perfectly. Originally there were the shadows of two people, but we replaced them with the shadow of just one. It's a little long, but both shadows in the image have the right proportions. It looks like I took this photo early in the morning. And it turned out really vibrant and lively. Perfect for social media. So we explored how to train the Crea AI Flux model using our own photos. We generated a variety of images in different styles. And for those with obvious flaws, we could fix certain details, like the shadow example. Crea AI is an ever-evolving platform, continuously improved and maintained by developers. It also has a large knowledge base you can work with. Given all these benefits, I highly recommend using Crea AI. Final thoughts. Okay guys, we are about to end this tutorial, so let's wrap it up. With Flux Generator training, you can not only create cool photos for fun, but also solve specific problems. For example, a few well-crafted prompts can replace an entire business photo shoot. Isn't that great? There are countless ways to use this tool. So, what kind of photo would you like to generate for yourself? If you're excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.